Did you know that you can add Wi-Fi to your Flipper Zero with an ESP32? I didn't. I just learned that and I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is just an ESP32 room. This is a board I had just sitting around. I was originally looking at getting a Wi-Fi board, but it was like 50 bucks and it wasn't in stock. So I just built this. So as you can see, 3.3 volts RXTX ground. If you use a different ESP32 board, it'll probably be in different spots, but this is what you want to look for. And then on the flipper, here you see we got 3.3, then we got our uh, ground right there, we got TX RX. So the important thing to note here is when you're doing serial communication between two, de two devices, the TX from one device goes to the RX on the other device, and the RX goes to the TX. So if you're building one of these, make sure you do that. But just to demonstrate that this actually works, let's hop into GPIO, ESP32, Wi-Fi Marauder. This is the Rogue Master firmware. So if you scan, you'll see here, I start scanning my networks. That's actually mine right there, ASUS. So actually let's hop out since it got that and go to list. Actually those top three ones are mine. Zero, we can do select. Zero, save, and now zero is selected. We could deauth this if we want right now. Okay, let's boot my tablet off of this. Let's pay attention to the Wi-Fi. Yep, just kicked me off. And now if we stop it, it should come back. There it is. So it works. What I'm gonna do now is transfer that onto one of these. I've already cut one out a little bit smaller and then solder this up like that somehow. And I'm gonna take the ESP and mount it on here. And then we'll just plug it straight down just like the Wi-Fi board that you get from Flipper Zero. Before I do that, let's hop on a computer and look at how you flash this real fast. It's actually really easy just using Python. So this is the repository for the script that installs that installs Wi-Fi Marauder on the ESP32. But uh, real quick, here you can see on AliExpress how cheap these things are. You know, it comes with an antenna and this little UFL adapter. This is the external antenna style ESP32. This is the style that I just used where it has the antenna right here, as you can see. See, this is only $5 uh, with shipping, or if you order four of them, shipping will be free. These are those little PCBs that I was using, as you can see on the ones I was using, I, I sliced it, but, you can actually get smaller ones and there's just a ton of uh, little options here for uh, doing your own projects. So let's go back into this repository here. This is a super easy repository. It comes with really detailed instructions. Uh, if you're doing this on Windows, you need to have Python and Git installed. If you're on Mac and Linux, those things are already going to be installed. I'm going to be installing this on my Mac. If you're on a PC, just use Windows subsystem for Linux, please. Like, for the love of God, stop using Windows. So here we're just going to copy this here. So we're just going to do a git clone and clone this into this directory. So here you can see that we clone that folder in here. And this is the, uh, the script here that we need to run. Uh, first, we need to plug in our little device. So what I'm going to do before I plug it in, you don't really have to do this, but I like to just see. All right, well now we'll see where it goes on the COM port. All right, now it's plugged in. So there we can see, this is our device. I'm just gonna copy this. So on these other boards, you'll see they have a boot uh, button here. If you follow these instructions, you have to hold the boot button and then plug the USB in. So right here, uh, you hold that boot button, then you plug the USB in, and then it'll be ready to accept the program. But what we're gonna do real fast is, uh, well, first make sure you have Python 3. On Mac, it turns green. That's how I know I have it, but you can just do dash dash version. I got 3.12. So what we're gonna do is do Python 3, dash M, V, E, N, V, oops, E, N, V. And we're gonna create a uh, environment just to install all our requirements. So we're not installing all that stuff uh, locally or globally so here we have our env folder so we want to activate that
clear. And now we're gonna do a pip install dash r requirements. Let all of these install. I've already downloaded a lot of these, so they're probably gonna be cached. Okay, so in the instructions here, you can see that he created some flags. So right here where it says dash S or serial port, we can actually tell it what serial port to use. So on Mac and Linux, this is gonna look like this, slash dev slash TTY USB something. So remember ours look like this. Since we already copied that, what we're gonna do is you do Python three. Oops, I don't have to do Python three anymore because we're in our uh, environment. So Python, easy install, dash S, tell it what port to use. And if you hit enter, I gotta make this thing smaller because if you have an ESP32 room, you're gonna be using number five. So you just hit five, hit enter, and then it connects to the board. And this is gonna take probably about five minutes. But as long as you start getting messages like this, you know it's working and just like that, it's done. So let's get back onto the workbench and uh, we'll start this thing up. So just a little disclaimer, deauthing someone's network without their permission is illegal. So make sure you're doing this on your network or some kind of network that you have permission to do this on and don't go to jail. Not too bad. Getting these to solder on top of these pads was a little bit tricky. You see this one got really hot and the insulation came off, but it'll be fine. Power is looking good. Let's take a look at the back. I have those are some good connections there. I just saw the blue light blink. Oh, sweet, seems like it's working. I haven't been able to capture any handshakes with this thing, but I have been able to de-auth with it. And even uh, the evil portal works and you can select like the Google login page, which is pretty crazy because it looks very good. But you can use this tool with something like Kali Linux, like I'm using here. And here you can see I got arrow dump running and I grabbed that handshake and you can save it to a capture file and then you can uh, run that through Aircrack or Hashcat or whatever you want. The Flipper is a great tool, but for the same price or actually even less, you can get yourself a laptop and get yourself a network adapter like the one I have here. And when it comes to Wi-Fi pen testing, you have way more power with this setup. I think the Flipper is a good tool to get you started, but if you want to keep going down this road, you need something like this. So looking through here, see there's an NRF24 section on Rogue Master. You can, looks like you can do some cool stuff on here. So I actually have a bunch of these NRF24s. I already kind of looked up how to install these and it uses uh, this row here, but that's for a future video. So if you're interested in checking it out, leave it in the comments and uh, I'll make the video. So for now, thanks for watching.